What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical average American here today to react and learn about the best Norwegian TV shows, or as this puts it, the best Norwegian TV series. Either way, I don't know anything about Norwegian TV. I do know one show. I do know one that I've reacted to. Alt, alt for Norge? Norge? Alt for Norge? Um, <laughs> which is a reality TV show with Americans in Norway. I know about that one. Uh, some, of the, some of the people in the comments told me about that one. I've really enjoyed it. Thank you very much. But I am very interested to learn about just... Just TV shows in general in Norway that are popular. There's so many TV shows and movies and, and stuff that comes out of America that I'm so used to it. I know what's popular and I'm pretty sure a lot of the things that are made in America are popular in a lot of other places on Earth. Probably in Norway. Probably Norwegians. Norwegians are great at English. So they're probably watching American television shows if they think one seems good. Uh, <laughs> I would not doubt it. But the reverse is not true. Americans are not watching Norwegian television, not watching Norwegian TV series or movies. So I don't know anything about any of them at all, which is not good. But for the purposes of this video, it is good, because now I get to learn about it. So, let's take a look. On this video, I'm going to focus solely on TV series, not movies, not books, not anything else, just TV okay. series. I'm okay. going to start with Nobel, and this is definitely one of my favorite Norwegian TV series so far. No Nobel. Oh, the Nobel Peace Prize. That has to do with Norway, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it says Nobel, peace at any cost. I'm looking at the actors, honestly. I don't know any of these Norwegian actors. Huh, okay. It's basically a man who's in the, or was in the military, and now it's a kind of like a security guard for the prime minister or for like someone important in huh. politics. And this all happens during the war in Afghanistan. A lot of okay. dangerous things are happening around politics and people are in danger and he has to protect those people and find out who the bad guy is. And I mean, sounds like something that you'd find in America as well. I would, I, I'm guessing for a lot of these shows, it's not that they're bad or anything. It's just that they're in Norwegian that Americans don't get an opportunity to, like, appreciate any of it. And protect the people he's working for and his family at the same time. Okay. It's really exciting, but also has a lot of, like, spawns. The next one is also one of my absolute favorites. It's called Likeland. Likeland. And in the background of the photo is, like, an oil rig? This has to do with like the Norwegian oil economy. And it's quite recent. I think it's from 2018 or 19, something okay. like that. The story is about how uh, Norway found oil in the middle of the ocean, but it focused more specifically into uh, one family or maybe two families and a couple. I would like this. I think I would enjoy this. Uh, I think uh, the story behind Norway and its whole history with oil and the oil industry would be very interesting. It's funny that they made it into like a, a TV show, like a dramatic TV show about a family. That's kind of interesting. People that falls in love and he's from like oh. a rich background and she's from a poor background. Oh. Most of the story is uh, in Stavanger in Norway and it's just so like romantic but at the same time really inspirational and it tells a little bit of the like Norwegian story of the oil industry. And oh okay <laughs> I thought this was more about the oil industry it's actually like a love story <laughs> it's a it's a romance show okay that's funny. <laughs> um so I really really love this one. Okay. The next TV series. <laughs> Cal Cal Leave it to Norway to create a television show centered around oil industry with 
a love story. I've never heard of such a thing. This is called Valkyrian and it's about a scientist who is trying to cure his wife that okay. she has like a strange disease and she's going to die and no one like the hospitals are saying that no one can help her and okay. he's a scientist so he tries to um like create a cure a uh, while like hidden all this is a this is very specific it's kind of like science fiction sort of dramatic about a do a scientist doctor how this sounds like it'd be difficult to make an entire tv series about this Although I'm sure it's good if it's on this list. It's filmed in the subway station called Valkyrian, which actually exists here in Oslo. And Valkyrian. it has been closed for many years, I think. So it's just like abandoned and the whole... Valkyrian is a subway station where the main character resides. <laughs> Siri is like there in the station and in the tunnels of like the subway system. It's yeah. all very mysterious and intense and you really feel for the characters. Uh, but it also has a little bit of comedy in there, so that's really nice. Okay. If you like a little bit more of history or TV series past like in the war time, and this one actually involves different countries, so the series is half Norwegian, half British and half German, if I'm not oh. mistaken. It's called Kampen om Tungvane, and it's... Wow, Norway's greatest TV success, Kampen om Tungvane. <laughs> uh... There's Norwegian, German, British. Are Norwegian shows commonly multilingual, multiple languages? Because that is just not a thing ever in America. Unless there are subtitles, then it could be a thing. But still, I feel like a lot of American shows would really be hesitant to feature characters that speak a different language. Um, unless it was for a really specific purpose. So this is interesting. It just makes me think, is this like a bilingual Norwegian show? It's basically about the production of heavy water in Norway in the middle oh. of the war and how like the Germans and the Nazis uh, were involved in this and okay. also uh, Britain trying to help. It's actually really interesting. Oh, it's about history with Britain and Germany and, okay, World War. Okay, that's why. And also very exciting and scary sometimes and has a lot of history as well. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of, like, American movies and shows. Band of Brothers, other stuff, Pearl Harbor, uh, countless. Saving Private Ryan, countless shows and movies about war. That's definitely very, very common in America. Another TV series that is actually quite, quite recent. There's only one season so far. It's called uh, Be Foreigners. Okay. And it's about, it's actually like, the theme is actually quite funny. It sounds stupid. See, I mean, it's called Be Foreigners. <laughs> Does that mean it has something to do with foreigners? Stupid. But I think they made it into a really nice TV series in a way. Basically, okay. there are like some flashes in the fjord here in Oslo and people from other times start to appear like in the water. For example, okay. like a viking emerged from the water and police is going to get him and he's like, where am I? What's happening? It, so people from the past are somehow oh this is really science fiction like people traveling through time <laughs> to norway i mean honestly i like that kind of stuff i'd probably like this show appearing in the present but the series is about how oslo or like norway in general has to work around this and include this people uh into the society huh. and then it's uh is that what beforeiners means? Beforeiners, like before, as in in the past, because they're traveling through time. A couple of detectives. He's like normal, like from now, Norwegian, and she's from the past. And they work together to solve like mysteries that have to do with this like 
moving in time thing. The next okay. one was quite a success, let's say, in Norway. At least okay. everyone knows about it. Good, good. Like, I want to hear about shows that are popular in Norway, like genuinely popular. Everyone sees them. And it's very, very recent. It is called Exit, and it's huh. about reach people in Norway. It's it's supposed to be based on real facts or like inspired <laughs> on real facts. <laughs> this sounds like something from America, like an American show. It's about rich people. <laughs> Loosely based on real life, too. So these people actually exist, and okay. they are a group of four or five men that are really rich and okay. live a luxurious life. They are all friends and socialize in the same group and have families, are married, have kids, things like that. Okay, this is... She said this is very popular in Norway. Uh, is the plot just that they're, they're super rich? <laughs> That's the show? But in the background, they kind of have like these crazy okay. parties where they like drink, okay. do a lot of heavy drugs, okay. buy prostitutes and yeah, things like that. So that makes more sense. That's like the, the twist, the, the dark behind the scenes that I was like, okay, people do, people, Americans love that. Apparently Norwegians love that. I get it. This one is a little bit like 18 plus or yeah. maybe even more because <laughs> it has some scenes that you, yeah, it's very explicit. So okay. don't put your kids watching this one. <laughs> Next one, it's a holiday one and it's actually the last Norwegian TV series I watched. So it's a Christmas uh, series, but oh. I guess you can see it like during the whole year. Okay. Um, and it's called Yem Til Yule, so Home for Christmas. Oh, it's on Netflix. Home for Christmas, Yem Til Nul. Huh, I wonder if Netflix uh, does a dub, like an English dub of this. I wouldn't have even known this was Norwegian because they wrote the title in English and... Okay, okay. And it's a Christmas it's a Christmas show. Okay. It's on Netflix, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. And it's about a girl who goes to her family in the beginning of December for like a family dinner and her mom it's and her family in general is really pushy, uh, trying to know more about her personal life and if she has a boyfriend okay. or not, which she doesn't have. Okay. And she gets so fed up with the conversation that at the end of the dinner, she says to everyone that she has a boyfriend and she's going to bring him for Christmas dinner. So the Okay, this... Uh, in America, they have Hallmark movies and like super, super cheesy, sappy, uh, predictable Christmas movies that are just meant to be... Uh... <laughs> Simple, good-hearted love stories where people get into trouble along the way. This is the Norwegian version of that exact idea. The whole series is about her trying to find a boyfriend uh, in all of these days until okay. Christmas. So it's like 25 days or something like that. that this, this would be perfect for... <laughs> For a lot of people who watch this stuff during the holidays. And every day she has like a date with someone different. It's okay. really, really funny. I laughed out loud so many times. And okay. it's very, very like typical Norwegian. It's so funny. Yeah. You really have to watch this one. The next That's funny that there's like concepts like that for movies. I mean, not surprisingly, all of the ideas and themes of all these shows that I've heard exist in Norway, they exist in America, like, it's it's just the language that's different, and of course the culture has its differences. Next one, it's called Unga Lovende, I'm not sure if I'm saying this correctly, okay. but well, and it's a more relaxed, um, about life TV series, it's okay. about three girls, yeah, three girls, one is a writer, one is a comedian, and another one is an actress. 
and they all struggle a little bit in life. They can't really find a job they love. Um, they have like a little bit of love problem. So it's just- Is this the Norwegian version of Sex in the City? Just like their everyday life and their struggles, but also <laughs> a lot about their friendship because all three of them are really good friends. This next one is also super recent. It's called uh, Twins or The Twins. I think it's just Twins. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 this has Christopher. Uh, I don't know how to say his last name, but I know him. He's like one of the most famous Norwegian actors. Yes, I know this actor from Game of Thrones. Yeah, for sure. Okay, wow, I didn't actually think I'd recognize someone in these Norwegian shows. Okay, cool. <laughs> And it's uh, with this actor from Game of Thrones, like yeah. the big one from the Wildlings, the funny one. It's yeah. about these two twins who, they were really close at the beginning when they were younger, but then they kind of like went their separate ways. Then something happened to one of the twins. I really don't want to like, you know, tell everything. But right. Something <laughs> happens to one of the twins and... <laughs> I like how she's trying not to spoil it. In case we, in case we decide to watch, right? The other one kind of like has this big opportunity in life, but at the same time has to like live with this massive secret. Hmm. So yeah, it's, it's very strong, dramatic, okay. not really funny, oh. uh, but like really okay. Strong. The next one okay. is a little lighter one. It's called Seed Om Sida and Side Om Side. Seed Om Sida. It looks like a romantic comedy, maybe? It has many, many seasons, so if you start to watch this one, you can like go forever. Okay. It's also very typical Norwegian in a way. It's, it's just like a family TV series. Like oh, like there's classic American sitcoms where it's just an American family doing American family stuff and it's kind of funny and sweet. This is like Norwegian families. It's not like super science fiction or history or, or two romance. It's just like a Norwegian family doing their thing. Comedy TV series. It's about this neighborhood and it focuses on three main neighbors, so three couples um, that they have their own families and okay. they are neighbors so they have to interact in a way with each other. Some are friends, some are more like they need to be friends. <laughs> it's, it's funny to me. <laughs> it's funny when she explains the plot. It's like, I, I feel like I've heard all these plots just recycled with like a zillion different movies by now. And how like the whole like Nabulaget, so like the neighborhood works. Uh, so yeah, it can be really funny. Of okay. course, there's many more Norwegian TV series, but to end this video, I have to talk about Scum. I'm sure all of you know about Scum, but if- No, <laughs> no, I don't. Scam. There's someone watching that- it looks like, oh, she's, yes, I'm watching and I don't know what it is. Is it like a heist movie about crime? It doesn't know, well, you have to watch Scam. Scam? It's like a, I would explain it like a teenager soap opera, but in a huh. very cool way and that okay. it, it goes also for adults. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed huh. this video. I hope I gave you really nice ideas of TV series to watch. Let us know in the comments down below if you have more suggestions of TV series or if you have seen one of these and you really liked it. Okay, well, that's pretty much it, huh? Okay, I enjoyed this. Uh, to be honest, I just wanted to get like familiar and like introduced to Norwegian TV shows in general. I'm glad that she actually described them a bit, even though I doubt I'd ever watch one of these shows, you know, they are in Norwegian as well, like a different language that I don't know. But uh, <laughs> they remind me of American television, to be honest. 
it's funny how like romance and comedy and history and stuff they transcend cultures especially in like modern movie making and modern tv things are made like the same some of these were on netflix even so i i guess i didn't really appreciate that until i watched this and like got all these descriptions but I also just thought it was fun to hear about some of the popular stuff in Norway. That gives me an idea of just, like, what Norwegians are interested in. Like, as a culture, TV and movies and media is a huge part of life now. So this was, like, very useful for that as well. And just plain interesting. So, I like this. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway, Norwegian culture, things I've never seen before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.